Hello everyone, this is Mega Hunter, and today I have the pleasure of casting a Dreadlands match. Pretty rare opportunity, just because of how time zones work. Between Carolad and Ivan. Carolad, right now, I think, sitting 5 0 in his division, undefeated, on a tear right now. I think Tekopo made it close, maybe I think he made it 3 2, but Car Carolad, in terms of match wins, is undefeated. Meanwhile, Ivan. I think he's either 2-2, two, two, or 3-2, three, two, or 2-3, two, something like that. <laughs> but Ivan doesn't have... He's an okay record so far. Ivan's a very good player, though. So he has the potential for upsetting good players. Oof. Carolat picking Geiger. He thought he would meet the Jaina, but instead he got the Gloria. Pretty sneaky um, opening pick for Carolan. I haven't though going Gloria. That's not something you would see every day. Ivan is plays a lot of characters like Midori and such, but he's known for his Jaina. A man after my own heart. So yeah, let's see if. Ivan can potentially break Carolad's win streak. He has the upset potential. Ivan's a very good player. This matchup I've heard is I've heard is even actually. But I'm not too sure. Nice, gets a block off successfully. Overdoses. This is a matchup where Gloria can accelerate the game in ways Geiger doesn't want it to be. Because with Ordo, she can really um, take up chunks of his life for every combat win. Hours up threes? Hmm. Maybe he'll heal for K or something? Actually, he doesn't necessarily have to heal. Never a good excuse, that's true. Carolad is known for playing Troc, but since he, he's going up against a Jaina player, known Jaina player, makes sense that he would open Geiger here. Gets the J back, heals it for the J back. That's, uh, I mean, the K. Fairly good button, neutral. Carolad is playing anti throw right now. He tossed out the J, even though he knows that it would lose to Glorious K. Okay. Geiger damage, by the way. <laughs> Get, have I told you guys how Geiger's ridiculous? He doesn't even necessarily have to play for Temporal Distortion. He still has very efficient damage. I mean, time stop into 6Q. Crazy. Tosses up Healing Sphere. Nice throw. <clears throat> Another good thing about for Glory in this matchup is that Geiger's throws are only 0.8. Pretty slow. So they clash with her throws. At best. So basically, if Glory plays 7 throw in this matchup, she's completely safe in the way that she can be thrown by Geiger. And Geiger can't get rid of a Healing Sphere. Geiger does have um, Time Kick, though. His K to knock her down and prevent her from healing. Ah. Uh, nice block here. Baits out the, the Time Kick. Of course... At 0 0.2 speed, very popular card to play on wake up. <clears throat> Beat out cross up attempts. Ooh. 
but no, she still. Ivan still gets to keep his fear and his card draw engine. Gloria speeds um, are pretty good for neutral, but unfortunately, her fastest attack is Zerb went sick. Lo Zerb went six loses to Geiger's fastest options. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. The interaction, the point eight speeds, makes it perfectly safe for Gloria. Seventh throw, without losing a sphere. Battle the slow throws indeed. And since it's seven of hearts, he can heal for it back, and always have fastest throw. Yeah, that's really good actually. For Gloria to always have access to seven of hearts, <clears throat> that is the king throw in this matchup. So Ivan can reasonably abuse 7 throw and won't lose healing sphere until you know he's actually knocked down or hit by attack. She may be gaining life, but you know, she also does 10 damage to herself every time she overdoses. There we go, nice. I think Caroline wanted to dodge it to a throw to get rid of healing sphere. Ivan does the very face-up play of Seven of Hearts. Gets the healing from Moonlight's... Um, what's, his, what's her J name? I swear I don't know J, J name attack. The ability is bathed in Moonlight when she returns the J back. I'm, I'm thinking he'll still heal for the Seven of Hearts anyway. Even though he's already healed this turn. Seven of Hearts is just a powerful tool in this matchup here. Oh, I mean the Ace of Hearts. Right, he used that one for Overdose. 3 sevens in Gloria's discard. A big opportunity for Geiger here, if he wants to get rid of Sphere. R&D. Gets to look at top two cards and reorder it. Grabs one. 30 HP is... Pretty precarious for Gloria though, especially if Caroline's loaded with aces. You don't really know the contents of his hand. Nice, seven throw. Takes advantage of um, Gloria's seven throw being down. And here, here's the Geiger brutally efficient damage we're talking about here. This throws do 8 damage, let's not forget. And then 5J. J and Q are still reasonably good combo fillers and combo enders. Will Ivan heal? I think his fear, he still can, um, yeah, he still can heal if he wants to and get a card, but it dissolves this turn regardless. He did power up for an ace, so. With Ace of Hearts and Ace of Clubs, I mean Ace of Spades, he might have um, her 0.6 attack, I forget his name. Her 0.6 29 damage super. Ooh, nice dodge. Scouts out the hidden A. The question is whether that's a like Joker. Sun and Moon, that's the name. Oh man. Of course Geiger would have a Joker as well. The cheating bastard. Reasonable attempt there to go for lethal. I would go for it. Now, for sure, not only is he the, the one on the winning streak, he's played Geiger. Aww. And of course, Decay closes out. Oh, man. Damn you, Geiger. A lot of efficient options. A lot of efficient damage. Lots of fast options. So the, the, 
the port the bad thing for Ivan is that he scouted out the silent cycloid, but the Joker really denies him. Oh well, good time by Ivan. Carolad got some nice to combat wins. Closes out. I wouldn't mind if Ivan stuck to this matchup though. He was doing quite well in it. Yeah. I like the Zane here. The easiest way to counter pick Geiger is just to play Zane. If you don't want to deal with his options. <laughs> oh no. And that's why it's tough for Geiger. That 2.3 undercut. It's so pesky. Is this karma, I feel? Hey, man. You pick a top tier like Geiger. Then, you know. I'm no surprised when the Zane comes out. Not too bad, though, for Carolite here. At least he's not knocked down on the ground. Good poking. Sticks out the tree, even though, you know, it's risky for a Geiger to stick out a tree, but if he wants to stop Zane from throwing, he has to do, resort to such methods. Tax on the Jada for extra damage. Yeah, Carolette's trying to poke Ivan's throw times out. This is not a matchup where Geiger feels um, content to block at all. Zane throws are very scary, do a lot of damage, can lead to knockdown. Not to mention Zane has two ranks of throws, five and seven that do beat Geiger's fastest throw. Really? Three J's. <laughs> but he doesn't stop. That 10 throw could be a valuation trap, but it worked out fairly effectively. If you're not sure what a valuation trap is, is when you play a purposely worse option to make the opponent think that you don't have the better option. In that case, he showed the 10 throw, but then he had the 5. Interesting. Take, just takes advantage of free damage from shenanigans. 12 damage, no knockdown. Hey, Tekopo, that's just Zane things, man. Throw into throw. This Carolat didn't um, take a lot of damage from that throw combo. I guess he's okay with blocking now. I mean, 12 damage is still something, but you know. Ivan hasn't showed that he has J's or anything. Even Live Toes are even hand. Geiger with a large hand, this matchup actually can, does fine. Mostly when Zane doesn't let him get started, is when Geiger has trouble. Oof. Footsies. <laughs> okay, so that's really showing that Ivan has not many effective throws. It's not rare that you see Geiger, it's pretty rare to see Geiger beat out a Zane throw in terms of speed. Research and development. Looks at the top three cards and grabs one. Jokers are great for Geiger in this matchup. K's are great. Could be any one of those. I 
Ivan kind of has to be worried about odd cross, potential odd cross up into damage. Ah, yep, yeah, the two is the anti cross up play. But Carolet blocks. Nice. Baits it out. Eleven cards versus ten cards. About even life totals too. I think Geiger probably has the upper hand here in terms of hand quality. Ivan is showing a lack of good throws and Oof, okay. Random cycloid in neutral. You take those traces, Geiger. Yellow crash bomb. Okay. Source, source the hand. Maybe he thought that because of that cycloid he played in neutral that he has a good hand. Gets rid of K. He also had triple nines to power up for aces, so. No jokers though, so that is, that's an indication that Catalan now has one, potentially. Yeah, he trashes a K, but he still has three more. Yeah. There's one. Pretty crummy shenanigans for him. I mean... You can dodge and do six damage, but you know it's it's not it's no knockdown or anything. Yeah, if I had a J, I would play it there. Sometimes as Zane, you have to play from your hand to get most of your combat wins. Like even if you get free damage from shenanigans, it's just like dodging to six and Geiger standing up. It's no good. Carolad would mill that card fast. Blocks him, scares him off. I even thought it was going to be another DP. Then pull distortion to grab a J. Interesting. I guess his last hand only had one Q. So he could have a lot of spirals in hand right now. <clears throat> Zane, and Zane has three twos in discard. Zane without twos is kind of a slow character, I will say. This is tense. What's Caroline gonna do here? Wouldn't be surprised if Caroline throws here. Oh, dodges. Tried to bait out a crash bomb or something. Ivan, seven throws. Beats out blodgers and beats out anything Geiger will throw out. And by that, I mean it literally. I mean, like, it beats all of Geiger's throws. So, pretty safe play with the seven there. Oh, interesting. Converted to slipstream. You have to think hard about that one because the nine, he got a nine from shenanigans. But. I assume he didn't have J to tack on to the end, so he didn't use the 9 for his combo. R&D. The top 4 cards. Carolyn has to have Joker now, right? Scary situation for Zane here, actually. Goldbirds. Nice choice, actually. Geiger's loaded up on cards with Temporal Distortion up. Gold Burst is actually a pretty great option to get out of it. Carolyn's at 90 HP, so he does die to a slipstream. Carolyn passes up for a singular ace. At least Ivan's 
above is above 30 HP, so he won't die to Cycloid. Because he Packer does have one ace in discard. Oof. Dodged a raw slipstream. And two. Okay. Maybe he's trying to checkmate him here. I think Caroline does have a Joker at this point. Thanks to CND trashing his hand. Revealing no Jokers. He's definitely drawn Joker by now with also how much he's played R&D. So, you know, dodging is very safe there. This death. I wonder if that was checkmate. Could be. Yep, that was checkmate, it looks like. Well played by Caroline. Had a Joker, so the dodge, leave ranging with dodge there is very smart. Because even if Caroline gets thrown, it won't kill him. He can just blue burst the damage. However, dying to raw slipstream would be bad. Yeah. So well played by Caroline. Now it's um And now it's uh game three. Carolina's up two oh. I have some back foot here. And the unfortunate thing is that he's stuck you know, you know, Zane's an excellent character, but he's stuck with Zane for the rest of the set, so even if Carolina loses the game as Geiger. He's not going to mind. He's just going to play Troc. Troc obviously is Carolette's best character. Decent shenanigans gets a 9. Maybe... Ivan will have good damage conversion this time. He was pretty lacking last game. Just take the free nine, that's fine. No, even life. Even cards. Question is, will Ivan keep throwing? No, block block. Hard to say here whether blocking going block block favors Geiger or favors Zane more. Zane does have anarchy. If he blocks you a very large hand that can power up for anarchy. But Geiger still has I think a ridiculous end game. And Cyclers are almost as good as anarchy. World time crash bomb. <laughs> Down on the ground now. I think a Zane here. You probably just play a meaty. Play a meaty normal and see and you know, if he has DP then so be it. Yeah, went for it. Blocks correctly. Nice. Oftentimes against Geiger, I mean against Zane, you will want to block odd. Because most of Zane's high damaging meaty normals are 7 and 9. Are odd. Not to mention Zane just has more odd normals in general. Zane only has one two even normals, two and six, and two of course is low damage, and you would use it for neutral.
Caroline's still blocking. Playing for Cycloid is a pretty good strat against Zane. Ooh, nice dodge. Beats out the two. The two will obviously just scout out anything that's not um, K or Ace. Caroline's playing this neutral very well. And now Zane with his weakness to all normals has to be legitimately worried that he's going to get crossed up here. But Caroline has shown the willingness to, to blodge even at full hand. There it is. Like, this is a bad matchup for Geiger, but Geiger baits out all of Ge Zane's um, fast options, his Ks and his 2s, and his Aces even. If Geiger baits them all out, he can checkmate Zane. Especially when he's knocked down. Zane, I mean, Geiger does have um, his 2.0 time spiral on Aces. That will basically beat out everything Zane can do other than K and Aces, and Aces yeah. This could be checkmate. We don't know, but Ivan has 10 cards, he has a lot of cards in hand. If I were to gold burst, I would do it here. Unless Caroline's a madman and dodges again at full hand. Tough situation for Ivan. Oh no! This is this. This could be GG. He's, I think he might have enough spires to kill him here. Why the hesitation? No, I think he was calculating the damage. Okay, he's not dead yet. Carolyn didn't have enough spirals to make that death. So I haven't blocked her because he expected Cycloid or something. But instead he got a treat to the face. Joker does save him. I mean even if he didn't have Joker he would he wouldn't be dead. Five and K. He would still be alive. It's like fifteen damage. Carolet still is firmly in the driver's seat though, with Zay knocked down. With his life total and with temporal distortion up. I think Ivan would do well to be power for one ace. So he might only have 20 damage cycloid. Ivan would be, would be wise to play an option that doesn't die to a TD combo. Like maybe wake up slipstream is reasonable here to beat out Time Spell Hurricane. Ah, oh, and you're dead. I haven't played that. I think that was a bit too risky from Ivan's part. I mean, sometimes you go for the Hail Mary, but guy kind of has no reason to play unsafe there. Rest in peace, Zane. <laughs> the giggler strikes again. Well played, Caroline, though. Well played. It's a tough match for Geiger, but Caroline navigated it. Well, I'm so bad, Zane. Your Zane's not bad, Ivan. But I will say that 
it did, it did play some at some parts. He did play pretty risky, but yeah, I mean, I think playing Zane requires kind of a real feel of the opponent's tempo and when they want to block or attack. It's tough though. Kala played really, um, really good range, willing to blodge and at full cards and bait out um, Ivan's fast options. You're not wrong, Kara Lab. Geiger is a rare character nowadays. Mm, yeah, but well played by Kara Lab. He, you know, he certainly played the Z He got pretty decent draws, but you know he played the matches very well, especially against Zane. Knew what to do to bait out Zane's options, and put you know, again when Geiger knocks Zane down, Zane actually has to be worried, especially with TD up. Because it's crazy, guy can just touch a death kill you or checkmate Zane. If Zane doesn't have his fast options, Zane can be put in a scary spot if you know Geiger gets going. That's that's kind that's just Geiger in a nutshell though. Geiger could put any character in a terrible spot when he has a lot of cards and temporal distortion. Well played by both sides. Um, yeah, the glory. Ivan almost, I think the closest game, funny, funny enough, was Ivan playing Gloria, so maybe he should have stuck with Gloria instead. Joker bailed out Caroline on that round. And yeah, GG's Caroline and Ivan. Caroline's domination continues.